So now we're ready to add melody to the top of the tracks we have already recorded. So I'm going to tap on the yellow headphone here and now all my tracks will turn green. So I'm going to hear everything that I'm playing along with and I think that's a good way to practice the melody. If you're finding that really difficult, you know that you can tap yellow headphones on the track that you are recording with the melody. But let's try it this way first. So we're going to go up to the sound browser in the top left. And we're going to scroll to keyboard. Select smart piano. And we've got the chord view here. So let's go along and tap on that red chord strip at the right hand side to open the keyboard view. And lastly, we want to change the pitch of our melody. We want to make it higher than the chords and the bass so that it stands out on top of the musical texture. So down here on the left-hand end above the keyboard, we have two arrows with a zero in the middle. We're gonna tap the right-hand arrow twice so that it should now say plus two. And if you look at the le left hand key of your keyboard, it should be C4, okay? Now go up to the plus sign. Now I can't see my plus sign because my arrow's not at the beginning, so I'm gonna just tap return. And then the plus sign should appear. And I'm going to select section A. Once you've done that, check that your ruler starts with number one and finishes with number four. So the notes that we're using to record our melody are up at the right hand end of the keyboard. Starting with C5, we're using C, D, E, F and G, okay? So using the melody sheet, you need to practice the first section of the melody, which goes Once you've practiced that on its own, I would press play and try playing it along with your um, other tracks. <laughs> the other tracks are a bit too loud, if you want to change those volumes, you can tap track controls. And if your volume isn't open, remember you can swipe it open there. I would suggest that the chords at the top there, you might want them to be a bit quieter. So you could slide that volume slider down just below halfway. We want to hear the bass reasonably loud, so let's leave that second piano track where it is. And let's turn our jingle bell up nice and loud so that we can hear the beat. And we'll also turn our melody volume up to full. So this is the one that we're recording on. We want to be able to hear that one really clearly. So let's tap the small keyboard in the top left. And this time I'm going to demonstrate the recording of section A. So I need to tap return so that my arrow is at the beginning. I'm going to listen to my count of four and then I'm going to record this section. to re-record, press return first so the arrow is back at the start of the section. Have a go of recording your section A.